Hey Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's in store for your March 2024? Ariel and I are going to dive in with the tarot and find out, so keep watching. So Taurus, welcome to the channel or welcome back. So good to see you here. I hope you're all doing really well out there. So Taurus, we're going to start first with this tarot de deck to get the overall energetic vibe of your month ahead in March. And then we have a special oracle deck that I will be pulling from with additional tarot clarification. So let's see what we have for you, Taurus, in March. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Oh, we have the moon. And we have the Fool, okay. Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot, look at these energies. Oh, and a Three of Swords, okay, what is going on here? Okay, hmm, we're going to have to pull another card to clarify this Three of Swords scenario. So you have some sort of money on your mind here with this ten of pentacles it's in your heart so this could be your personal finances tens are usually about groups it could be a work financial situation it could be long-term investments uh, we will do a separate money video for when venus goes into pisces on march 11th so stay tuned for that on the channel um we have you though wanting to break free i think and move ahead in your life quickly with the chariot and with the fool card here both of these are fast new adventure new journey type energies and yet we have the three of swords so there may be some sort of poignancy at leaving behind a job ten of coins leaving behind a source of money whether you know somebody else is paying your bills if you're in the process of getting a divorce or something like that uh maybe there's there's something you know something going on with this ten of coins i mean god forbid it's it's you know something to do with an inheritance with the three of swords here okay but the three of swords like i said we'll clarify that in a second suggests that um like I said, there's some sort of emotional tenderness around the evolution of this new beginning for you. And the energy of kind of taking your time has been coming out in the readings over the last couple of months with whatever emotional cycle and decisions that you have been swept up in with the moon card here. So we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Libra which is your sixth house of work and well-being that is happening on the 24th 25th we have the new moon in pisces on the 10th i believe so it could be happening at either of those moments uh but i'm feeling that this may have something more to do with the lunar eclipse because that is the letting go energy and we have this three of swords that is showing up here so i think you are overall excited about this new path the chariot this is your cancer energy this is our third house of writing speaking teaching networking sales daily environment shifting and changing it could be that someone else around you is feeling the three of swords energy because you are moving on that is another possibility here uh it could be a group of people that are very heartbroken that you are leaving behind because you're going to a different job or you're moving with these two energies, right? This fool and this chariot that you are moving on, you're moving house, you're moving, you're relocating and you will not be there to take care of them anymore. You know, it could be something like that. Um, but there is a fresh emotional cycle that you want to begin with this, with this moon. And it is likely, again, shifting, the energy shifting for you this month. Now, remember, give the month time to play out right don't be like march 5th well nothing's happened yet okay because the lunar eclipse isn't until the end of the month okay so that energy may show up around march 24th 25th 20, you know 26th it may also show up a month later at the start of your birthday season it just depends 
Um, but I feel like you're moving on to something that in your heart, Ten of Coins, you feel is very solid and aligned for you. And it can be something that you have been working toward for a long time. I mean, this can also be associated with you're moving on because of a marriage partner. Like maybe uh, they got relocated and you got to go along with them. So and you're leaving behind people who are very upset about the fact you're leaving. So it can be something like that also. Um, and I do feel with the moon coming out first, there is likely to be some sort of mixed emotions you're dealing with, whether it's your own a little bit mixed emotions or somebody else around you. Um, but once this gets rolling, you know, you're you're up for it with the chariot here. I mean, you're like, OK, let's do this. I'm ready for this adventure. OK, all right, let's see. Let's see what we have. What else you need to know, Taurus, about this Three of Swords? Let's just see what we need to know about that for you. And you're taking your destiny into your own hands with this. And I feel like there's some sort of new opportunity that you're, you're manifesting for yourself with this. All right, let's see. We have an eight of pentacles. We have your Virgo energy. So I think this is something to do with work. Okay. This could be also the fact that, you know, for some of you, maybe you're riding off into the sunset because you're making the decision to retire. I mean, that's another possibility here. Relieve yourself of the burden of many years, moon card, many cycles of working. Uh, and you are riding off into the sunset and it's, it's going to be behind you. Okay, but it may be something associated with the work energy, but it's going to allow you to have a lot more time to pursue uh, your personal life, creative endeavors, this being your fifth house. Um, so interesting, interesting energies here. Um, it could also be too, because this is your fifth house. If you're worried about kids in this scenario, like let's say the family has to relocate because of a job opportunity. Your kids are going to be fine wherever you end up going. This is very positive energy. Yes, they may be sad and maybe they act out a little bit, three of swords, because they're upset they're leaving behind their best friend. You know, I mean, you can't blame the kids for that, right? I mean, um, but it'll be fine. Eight of coins is a very positive energy here. With time, it'll heal. As long as you can get them focused on the new adventure, you can get them focused on all the new friends they'll make, the new activity, the benefit, the practical benefits of the move. It'll be good for the family's finances. You know, you can then maybe take the ballet class you've been wanting to take. We'll have the money for it. You know, like that type of thing. You know how it is. OK, like something like that, if you're dealing with kid energy, uh, you know, is something to think about here also. But this is very, very positive. So some of you may be leaving behind a long and disappointing cycle of, you know, if this three of swords also relates to your own blockages of manifesting some sort of better work opportunity, leaving, really leaving that blockage behind. So that's, that's welcome news. All right, Taurus, we are now going to check in with my brand new Oracle deck, a feline fates Oracle featuring all sorts of cute cats, Ariel's, absolutely demanded that I make this deck. So we are going to use it for the second half of your reading. If you're interested in getting a copy for yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. It's available on my website. All right, Taurus, let's see what else we have going on for you in March. Taurus. 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 All right, what do we have? Ooh, it's flying out of my hand. We have the Libra energy. Okay, we have personal balance. Fairness prevails when harmony is restored within. So this is associated with the Justice card in Tarot. So interesting, again, Libra energy, that eclipse coming up March 25th, I think is going to be pivotal for you in some way, as I already explained. So restore the harmony within. Keep your balance this month. Let's clarify this and see what we need to know, especially in terms of work and well-being scenarios, which is, as I said, your sixth house, the Libra. OK, 
Okay, so let's see what we need to know. Like, do not allow yourself to get overly stressed and out of whack this month. That is not going to be good for you. And also, you know, this is not medical advice. Consult the doctor. But there could be issues if you have vertigo things or balance issues or things like that. Uh, keep an eye on those things, okay, for yourself. I'm not saying something's going to happen, but just because the balance energy is coming up, we know that stress is such a huge contributor to all sorts of things that that act up, that flare up when we're stressed out. So just keep that in mind. All right. All right. Let's see what else we have. Let's see, what do we need to know about this for the Taurus people? Personal balance. We have the eight of wands. There's your energy, king of pentacles, king of wands in your heart, five of cups, and the nine of coins. More Virgo showing up here in this reading. Okay. So you could be dealing, there could be a face off with somebody who's very pushy. Whether business or personal, friendship, family, whatever it is, okay? Um, might be an Aries, but doesn't have to be. It could be a Leo, it could be Sagittarius, or they have very strong fire in their chart. Um, they are in your heart, suggesting that they are somebody close in your life. Uh, but notice how both of you are facing one another, Okay. So here's your energy in this. So there is a little bit, I feel, of a face-off. And then we have this, um, this Five of Cups after it. So, and King of Wands energy can be very stubborn, as can be King of Pentacles. I mean, any sign can be stubborn. Um, but with the Eight of Wands here, which is the Leo also, there's something maybe about somebody not backing down because of their pride. So there could be some sort of situation like that that's going on. Um, but I feel like because we also had the moon, remember that. But of course, that was a, a different scenario. But the moon did show up, which is about cycles. There could be some sort of cycle again where this keeps happening many times, eight of wands. Um, and it could be too that there's a lot of pressure. You know, think of the eight of wands, those arrows like coming at you because notice they're pointed at you and this is the wand. So it's like this person keeps coming at you, coming at you, coming at you with demands, questions. Uh, I don't know, personal attacks, what, whatever they're doing that is highly aggressive with this and you're in the middle. And remember, this is about the personal balance. Somebody is out of whack, somebody's out of balance, and I don't think it's you. And it's a cycle that's been repeating. And then we have this five of cups, which is, I, I got to accept this is not going to change with this person. If I want to keep my well-being intact, this is the Virgo, which is always about well-being, Virgo. Right? Taking care of yourself, very Virgo. Um, okay, we got the Libra here with that lunar eclipse, work and well-being. You may have to disengage yourself and go it alone, nine of coins, from this particular person because you value yourself more. So there may just be enough is enough with this particular situation. I don't think this is connected with this other thing we looked at. I think that's a separate scenario. Um, but don't be afraid to stand up for yourself with this, also with the wands in your heart of like, I'm, you know, I'm not going to allow myself to be uh, browbeaten by this person, which is what this kind of energy is over here. Okay, so pull back, nine of coins, find your peace. I mean, nine of coins to me is an energy of just personal peace. She's in her personal paradise. She doesn't, she doesn't need the drama, the agita, the chaos. She's happy just as she is. So, and because the pentacles is also your energy, I think it's about you finding your peace and your balance, restoring your balance in a situation that keeps like coming at you like this with a person and accepting five of cups that here it is, right? Is it ever going to change? Probably not. Okay. So again, this card, 
Fairness prevails. Be fair to yourself when harmony is restored within. That's what I feel this nine of coins is. Restore your harmony within. Be fair to yourself in this situation. Nobody has to put up with the arrows of contention constantly, you know, thwacking on them. No, you do not. But you may have gotten used to it. And maybe you don't even pay that much attention anymore until one particularly strong arrow comes thwacking in. And then it's like your energetic body goes like this. Uh, I think you may be getting some signs and signals and different things going on. Again, not medical advice, but, but you know, in your body, letting you know that th this is not okay, whatever this situation is. Heed what your body is telling you about getting back to some groundedness, harmony, and inner peace, and not dealing with this particular individual or scenario any longer. So, Taurus, let me know on how you plan to use these energies in the month of March. Ariel and I love you guys. Take care and we will see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out. And of course, Ariel.